So no matter what icon that you are using, you want to be sure that all of the icons in a textbook or on a device are the same. So as you can see, this turn and this turn are the same. This is another option to use for turn. So I'm gonna show some different options, different visuals, um, but in your classroom, you're gonna to want to be sure that the icons and the symbols are the same just for consistency around the classroom, whether you're using a visual schedule, a device, or like I said, a PEX picture. So the first thing I'm gonna show you are these core word of the week. There are books, there are signs, there's a little handout that you can um, hang by your door so that related service that come in and out know what word you are working on that week as well as other staff. This is a good um, editable core word of the week set from Speech Room News that we have. Um, and there are four core words in this set three. This is the Autism Helper core board. This is the bigger one and this is the smaller one. And this is the one that I am using. And this has this turn. These are the core board. It's the small core board. And I have two fringe vocabularies on top. One's for farm and one is for dollhouse. So if you are working on playing with dollhouse, you can work on it is your turn with the baby. Your turn with the baby. Um, you can also use it with just the core board. I want to turn. It's your turn to help me. It's your turn to wait. I'm going to go. So there's lots of different ways, not just taking turns. Turn the car. I need help turning the brother towards the baby. You turn the chair. Turn the chair. Turn the pillow on the bed. There's lots of different ways that you can use the word turn. That was just an example on using it with the dollhouse fringe, the small core board. These are some other options for core boards to hang around the classroom. And then back to the speech room news AAC core word of the week set. This gives you lots of different options on how to use the word turn.